At the White Ruins, Team Plasma is preparing for the awakening ceremony of Reshiram. But this is not the plan. Team Plasma is seeking for greater power. The power that not only conquer Unova but all other regions as well. Lord Jetsus, shall we start our plan to summon Reshiram? asked Colress. Yes, said Jetsus. But before that let's use their Pokemon. Said Colress as Team Plasma released all Pokemon held captive in the containers filled with the sleeping gas. As soon as they released them, they opened their eyes looking at the surroundings. They are shocked to see that their trainers and friends are held captive. Just before they could react EM waves hit them hard turning them into brainless monsters. Soon they started to do sounds of explosion made Ash and N opened their eyes. Where are we? asked N. I don't know. All I can remember is that I was with you and others with Butterfree until the gas filled the entire house, said Ash as his eyes widened. Butterfree. Pikachu, said Ash. Are you looking for your Pokemon? asked Colress which made Ash realize that he is held captive at White Ruins along with N, his friends, Professor Juniper and his assistants. Let us go, said Ash. Sorry, but we can't let you spoil our plan said Colress. Everyone go and kill them, said Colress as Ash's Pokemon are under the control of EM waves. You think manipulating Pokemon will bring their inner power. The power that is latent inside them then you are wrong. The power of Pokemon comes with the bond that Pokemon and its trainer share with each other, said Ash. Pathetic. I have the data and as per the analysis we did, our device is far better than the bond crap. We were able to test the power of EM waves and it did wonders for us, said Colress. Kill them, said Colress as Ash's Pokemon charged at Ash, N, Iris and Sillin. On other side Iris and Sillin also opened their eyes. Fracture, Hydreigon, Dragonair, Bufalant, Excadrill and Emolga you can do it. You guys can stop that waves from hurting you, said Iris. Charizard, Garchomp. Lucario, Pikachu you have to get rid of these waves. I know your willpower is stronger than the waves, said Ash but his Pokemon are not listening due to the waves. Guys listen to me, you are far stronger than these waves. Lucario, focus on your aura, said Ash as Lucario stopped for a while and then shook its head before charging the attack and launched the thunderbolt on Ash electrocuting him. On other side Iris's Pokemon are charging their attack to kill Iris. I have to save her, said Ash as he stood up and ran towards the Iris. Iris's Pokemon launched their attack and just before attack could hit Iris, Ash stepped between Iris and attacks that caused massive explosion. You guys have to listen to us. Team Plasma is using you to conquer the Unova region. Just listen to your heart guys, the bond you and Iris share said Ash but it is not working. Iris you have to call out their name from your heart, said Ash as he ran towards his Pokemon still binded by the metal band. Ash's Pokemon launched their combined attack that hit Ash, causing another massive explosion sending everyone flying in the air. Ash crashed down on the floor and stood closed its eyes and focused hard. Lucario, Pikachu, Charizard, Gardevoir, Ivysaur, Gengar, Pidgeot, Glalie, Blastoise, Primeep, Hydreigon and all my Pokemon. I know you guys are there. You are still there. I just want you to focus hard to break the effect of the M waves, said Ash. As Lucario is trapped inside the brain he is looking for a way to escape. I have to get out of here, and the only way is to convey my message to Ash, though Lucario as he focused on his aura and then searched for Ash. Lucario is standing still which is making Colress more worried as he increased the frequency of EM waves and hit Lucario. On other side, Jetsus has already summoned the Reshiram. Ash this is not good. Said N as he can recall the destruction made by Reshiram years ago. Reshiram, by the orders of Team Plasma, we ask you to help us in conquering Unova region, said Jetsus only to get loud scream in return. Aim for Reshiram said Aldith as Colress fired EM waves that made Reshiram under the control of Team Plasma. Engulf all of them in fiery rage, 
said Jetsus as Reshiram turned towards the hostages and then screamed loud. All of sudden the sky filled with black clouds and sound of thunder crackling filled the ruins. Reshiram fired the massive fireball, just before it could reach the floor, massive thunderbolt strike it causing explosion in the midair. No way, this is Zekrom, said Ash that made Anne's eyes go widened as Zekrom landed on the ground. Aim at Zekrom, said Aldith as Zekrom released wave of thunder but Reshiram countered with the wave of flames that caused explosion, leading to smoke and dust covered the field. Target locked, said Kolres as he fired EM waves at Zekrom. As soon as the smoke cleared Zekrom could be seen engulfed in same static effect of EM wave. Soon, Zekrom is also under the control of Team Plasma. This is not good. With all of our Pokemon under the control of Team Plasma along with Zekrom and Reshiram, we are in danger, said N. Everyone attack the hostages, said Colres. Lucario, you have to listen to me. Look deeper in your heart and find the power that strengthens our bond. The power of our bond is far greater than artificial means, said Ash. Inside Lucario's brain, his consciousness is able to hear Ash. Ash, I can hear you, I am trying to break free from the waves, said Lucario. The only thing that can bring you out of this is the bond we have. Channel all your feelings towards your heart and I channel mine toward my heart. If we can unite our heart and feelings then we can surely break through it. I have to connect with others as well, we all have to do it together, said Ash. We will, said Lucario as he focused hard. With Pikachu, he is trying to concentrate free from the waves until he heard Ash's voice. Pikachu focus on your heart and channel all your feelings. The bond that we share should be able to break through this waves, said Ash. Yes, said Pikachu as he focused hard. Colres saw that Pikachu and Lucarian are trying to resist the waves. Soon it was followed by Charizard. Garchomp, Primeep, Gardevoir, Gengar, Pidgeot, Glalie, Ivysaur and his other Pokemon. Now everyone, said Ash via Aura Bond and his chest started to glow with energy. Lucario, Pikachu, Charizard, Garchomp, Primeep, Gardevoir, Gengar, Pidgeot, Glalie, Ivysaur. Soon, the streaks of energy radiates from Ash and his Pokemon after which Lucario, Charizard. Garchomp, Gardevoir, Genagar, Pidgeot, Glalie started to glow, causing them to broke free from the effect of EM waves. Soon all of the remaining Ash's Pokemon broke from the effect as well. Lucario, Charizard, Garchomp, Gardevoir, Genagar, Pidgeot, Glalie are you okay? asked Ash. Yes we are, said his Pokemon. How is this even possible? said Colres as he started to look into the data. Colres, how is this even possible, said Jetsus. Reshiram and Zekrom attack that kid, said Jetsus as the duo of the dragon faced Ash and they launched their powerful attacks. Reshiram and Zekrom. Gardevoir please release us, said Ash to which she nodded and used her psychic powers to destroy metal bands making everyone free including N. N ran towards Reshiram and Ash rushed towards Zekrom. Both of you, you have to break free from the grip of EM waves, said N and Ash as his friends are busy in defeating Team Plasma grunts. Both Pokemon cried in pain as they fired Draco Meteor that started to destroy the things. Reshiram cried in pain and turned towards the Jetsus and formed Fusion Flare attack. Reshiram, Zekrom said N and Ash as they gained attention of the two dragons. You have to listen to your heart and get out of the effect if the waves, said Ash and N. If our voices are reaching to your heart then please respond with firing dragon pulse in the air, said N and Ash as both dragon roared and raised their heads before firing dragon pulse. Ash this is working, we should continue communicating with them, said N. This is working said iris as she came forward as well lucario you and others try to destroy the machine said ash to which he nodded garchomp flew higher in the air and launched draco meteor after which meteor falls on the field and one meteor crashed on team plasma device as soon as device destroyed 
all remaining Pokémon become normal. Iris's Pokémon and Sylan's Pokémon become normal along with other Pokémon. What how is that possible? Why my research failed? Asked Colress making Jetsus gritted his teeth. You underestimated the power of the bond between Ash and his Pokémon, said N as all of the Ash's Pokémon surrounded Ash. Are you guys all right? Asked Ash. Yes we are, said Ash's Pokémon. Guys, I am glad that my thoughts reached to you and you were able to hear my thought, said Ash but his attention diverted to Zekrom and Reshiram who are charging their attacks in rage. Both flew higher and charged their signature attack, Blue Flare and Bolt Strike and launched at everyone. Ash's Pokémon used Protect and saved everyone from the attack except Team Plasma and their Pokémon. Reshiram and Zekrom decided to incinerate every that comes in their way. Reshiram and Zekrom, I beg you two to stop Rampage, said N as the two dragons stopped and looked at N. What making you from doing so? I was observing you N, you are against making Pokemon battle forcefully. These evil humans are nothing but virus to humanity and this needs to be resolved, said Reshiram. Isn't it your ideal world as where Pokemon can live peacefully where no humans pits them against each other? Said Reshiram. I agree, there are only few cases but from what I have seen, Pokemon and human can coexists with each other peacefully. Human and Pokemon needs each other in order to make this world beautiful. But, it is true that we need to punish those who hurt Pokemon physically and mentally. I learned from Ash here that, there are few humans who hurt Pokemon initially but they regret their actions and correct them, said N. As Aldith and Barrett attempt to convince their leader to flee, Ash and his friends spring into action, using their Pokemon to imprison the villains in a ring of Rockandus. Very well, said Reshiram and Zekrom as they started to fly. Reshiram, how does it feel after seeing humans and Pokemon come together against evil? Asked N. I felt that. Even if there are bad people, there are good people. This world can be a peaceful place if humans and Pokemon work together to save it instead of conquering it. It felt good when people and humans work together to keep peace in this world. In that case we shouldn't separate human and Pokemon. But if the crime against Pokemon increases and the truth started to fall, we must ensure that judgment should be passed on the one who are doing wrong, said Reshiram. Zekrom. How did you feel? Asked Ash. There is no one particular answer about that. To summarize it, as long as humans treat Pokemon as a friend and don't put emotional and physical injuries to them, the world will be better place. Said Zekrom. The international policerivs to arrest Colress, Jetsis, and the Team Plasma grunts. It seems these are your Pokeballs, asked Looker. Yes, thanks for the help said Iris, Ash and Sillin taking their Pokeball back. Everyone return, said Ash, Iris and Sillin recalling them back to the Pokeball. Meloda, Pikachu are you okay? said Ash. Yes, we are okay, said Meloda as she nuzzled Ash before going invisible. Back with the international police, they are taking Team Plasma with them. Inside the van Colress is thinking something. I think I was wrong. Forcing Pokemon was a bad plan to wake the power hidden inside them. Ash Kid made me realize that true power comes from true bond. Meanwhile, Anthea and Concordia arrived at the White Ruins and along with them are the two Butterfree that Ash knows. Ash's Butterfree landed on Ash's head. Nice to see you buddy and what about you pink Butterfree, said Ash. We are good, my mate was speaking highly of you in past few years. I decided to join you as well, said Butterfree's mate. Thanks, you won't regret, said Ash as he captured the two Pokemon and send them out. Ash, Iris and Sillin, I think we three should move forward in our journey. It seems we have to learn more in search of the truth and ideal world, said N. Best of luck in your journey. I hope you find what you are truly seeking for, said Ash as they parted their ways with N. N. Anthea and Concordia why don't you travel with us? It would be a great adventure for you as well, said Ash. Concordia and Anthea, what you think? Should we join him? asked N.
I assure you that you three won't regret, said Ash. We have decided to go with you, said the two sisters. Thanks for believing me, said Ash. Next day, Ash wakes up after having a dream about Reshiram and bemoans Ash's sleepiness, and Ash realizes that Iris had Pikachu use Thunderbolt to wake him up. Ash realizes they are back in Nuvma town, staying with Professor Juniper, and Iris tells him to get dressed. Where are N, Concordia and Anthea, asked Ash. They are already downstairs along with Cillin, said Iris. So Ash, what is your next plan, asked Juniper. I am heading back to Kanto where I will train for a while and then challenge the Elite Four, said Ash. What are Elite Four, asked N. Actually these are top four trainers of Unova region, and once you defeat them you can challenge champion of Unova, said Ash. It seems you are excited for that, asked N. Yes, because these are not ordinary trainers. I know my Pokemon are self-sufficient to battle on their own, said Ash. Ash I want to go with you. I want to befriend all dragon types from around the world, said Iris. Sillin states that he was hoping to go with Ash as well to continue his journey to be top Pokemon connoisseur. Juniper asks how they are going to get to Kanto, but Ash is not sure. Juniper suggests that they take a cruise through the Decolor Islands, where several rare Pokemon live. Ash, Iris, and Sillin decide to take the cruise, which team rocket over here, and begin coming up with a plan. Sounds excited said n and his foster sisters professor juniper i have to go and contact professor oak i need to send my pokemon there said ash to which she nodded ash kept lapras pidgeot charizard floatzel feraligator butterfree staraptor blastoise gyarados swellow meloda noctowl with him in exchange he asked professor to send his dragonite corbinite unpheasant and dragapult Few hours later Ash and the gang are ready to leave the town. 